Hello everyone, Steve with Off Grid 48. Welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Today I wanted to kind of discuss some uh, parts and accessories. These are uh, typically hard to find parts. Um, so uh, if, if you're working on your own gas fire, finding your own parts locally, you may have trouble sourcing some of these parts. If you're buying one of our kits, all these parts are included, so you don't need to worry about any of that. But I just wanted to go over real quick what parts we have available. Um, we do sell separately if you need to help you with your gas fire build. You might have trouble sourcing some of these parts locally. Um, so the first part is the one of the most important parts is the blower. This is the actual Sohan blower that's imported from China. It's a very good quality uh, metal housing. It's a 12-volt blower, low amperage, high suction. Um, this is a recommended blower. This is the blower we use on all our kits and our builds. Um, it's a pain to import these from China, but uh, we typically import enough for our, our uh, kits and our builds. But we've been getting lots of requests for these blowers, so uh, we started to order extra so that we can just sell them uh, separately for those people that would be building a gas fire, not using one of our kits, using somebody else's plans or their own design or whatever. Uh, so this is a this is available to a very good popular uh, blower. One of the next things is this is a right angled motor, and we call it the great motor. So this is also a 12 volt motor. It's a low RPM, 50 amp mower. This would be on the bottom of the gas fire, connected up to the grate assembly so that uh, it can provide some motion on the grate to keep the uh, biochar falling through the grate. Uh, so we have these available. I said these are 12 volt. These are very ruggedized, uh, durable, durable 12 volt motors. Um, then the, rather than have the grate motor just continuously move, which will drain your battery, uh, we add a electronic relay that's pre-programmed. So every, I think every three minutes, it turns on for five seconds and, and uh, rotates the uh, grate. So that way it saves on your battery and you really don't need to have constant motion on the grate. So we have these. These are uh, it's an electronic relay and housing that's pre-programmed. Uh, we sell these. Uh, uh, basically, this would control how often the motor turns on to provide motion to your grate. Um, we sell the sight glass or sanitary glass in one and a half inch. Uh, these are getting extremely hard to find. Uh, we found that we've had to uh, go to import these from China as well. So we have to order these in bulk uh, to, to, to justify it. But uh, we have these that you can buy separately. Uh, they're good quality stainless steel 304 uh, sight glasses. On uh, some parts in the gas fire are CNC parts. Um, the air jets. So the air jet, we have we sell these separately uh, individually or we sell them in sets of eight or sets of ten. Uh, basically this is a stainless steel jet with a half inch thread. Um, and these are, are what we call Venturi jets. So the the back of the jet is opened up to about a half inch and then it goes down to slightly less than three eighths of an inch. And what that does is it creates a higher air pressure for the uh, air coming into the hearth. So we have these available. These are very high quality. We'll, we'll stand up to any uh, high temperature that you could generate. We have these available as well. Um, on the grate assembly that we were talking about earlier, um, the mechanism that actually connects to the grate and provides the rotation, we have a couple CNC parts. This is called the grate pivot. It attaches to the shaft and then this part attaches to the motor. And what it does is it creates the rotation for the shaft, which in turn Create, uh, uh, turns the grate. So we sell this CNC part uh, as a little kit. The shaft itself, now typically you, you might be using a, a solid three-quarter inch bar, round bar. Um, we've moved away from that and we've gone to a, to a three-inch outer diameter pipe with a, a thick-walled three-sixteenths wall in it. And what that allows us to do is it allows me to run the thermocouple cable down through the center of it because now we put the thermocouple in the grate and then this protects the wiring uh, and basically doesn't interfere with the operation of the grate at all. So this this uh, type of, of pipe is hard to find. Uh, we sell these as well. 
Um, some uh, stainless steel components, we see the actual grate, it's quarter inch steel, uh, uh, laser cut um, grate, we sell these separately. The choke plates, basically the choke plates, what controls the amount of fuel that falls down into the reduction tube. Um, they have di different sizes. So we sell both the, the, the original choke plate, which is like an eight, I think it's an eight to eight and a quarter outside diameter. And then the hole in the center varies from three inches to four and a half inches. Um, we sell these, the original size. Uh, but one of the problems that we've, that you'll, you'll have if you're, if you're using the, uh, uh, builder's Bible as your plans, um, this is the size of the, of the grate that's in there. You can use this if you don't add any of the enhancements like putting the, uh, hearth liner on or putting in the diverters that go inside. If you add these, then the diameter changes such that if you use a standard plate, you will no longer be able to remove it and change the size, which defeats the whole purpose of having a changeable choke plate. So what we did is we took this basic choke plate and we broke it up into two pieces. So I basically made an outer ring and then I made the actual choke plate diameter smaller. It still has the original size hole ranging from three to four and a half inches. But by putting this in, you see here, I've got, I've got this, and I call it the enhanced choke plate. I've got this on the reduction tube. Now, regardless of how I have my hearth built, if I use the stainless steel hearth liner and I use the diverters, uh, which shrinks the diameter, I can still take this in and remove it and change sizes. So um, we sell, I said, the original choke plate. We sell the enhanced choke plate. Um, and we also sell the reduction tube itself. The reduction tube itself is a solid stainless steel uh, Schedule 40 pipe, six inches long. This, this piece of uh, pipe here is actually the most expensive piece of metal in the entire build. It's extremely expensive and it's extremely hard to find. You won't, you won't go, go to your metal shop. They may or may have to... Or if they order it in, they're going to want you to order a, you know, 10 foot section of it, which is ridiculous. Uh, so we'll sell six inch lengths of this that's for your uh, reduction tube. We'll also sell uh, a complete assembly of the reduction tube and a choke plate to whatever size that you want. We'll sell that as well. Um, and then lastly, the actual hearth liner itself. So the hearth liner is something that's not welded in place. Um, it's stainless steel. It slides in, and basically it's, it's held up by the air jets. Um, you can get this in the 8-jet configuration or 10-jet configuration. We'll sell this separately as well, because yeah, sometimes uh, 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 people have a hard time getting the stainless, and cutting the holes in the stainless uh, can also be quite a chore as well. So I just wanted to kind of let you know that, uh, uh, that we've got this available. Oh, a couple other things. So the actual diverters themselves I mentioned, we sell these in kits in eight or ten, so um, they're stainless steel. Basically, you'll we'll, we'll we'll sell them as a kit. They're bent. You'll have to weld the top to it, and then you'll have to tack weld it inside the hearth. Um, a couple accessories that uh, you might want to add to your build: uh, the thermocouple. So we use a thermocouple where we put it actually in the center of the grate, and we run the wire down through the uh, grate shaft. Uh, but actually we sell a kit that's got the thermocouple, the wire, uh, the fitting, and then a display. So you can take this and add it to whatever uh, style gas fire that you're building. Uh, we also do the same thing with a glow plug. So if you want to do, instead of a manual start with a, with a torch or a, a fire, um, you can put a glow plug in it where basically you have a momentary switch connected to your battery when you, when you push that. Uh, it lights the glow plug and lights the charcoal, so you have an automatic start. We sell that as a kit as well. So these are just some things that you might want to consider if you're not using one of our kits. Like I said, if you're using one of our kits, majority of this is included already in your kit. But if you're doing your own thing, your own build, sourcing your own parts, you might find uh, that you're having difficulty sourcing some of these parts. So I just wanted to kind of let you know that we've got these parts available. Uh, just drop me a, an email, and I'll send you a price list and get it out to you. Alrighty. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.